Look, I, I, I can't wash my hands. People in Jackson, Mississippi are being told to shower with their mouths closed because they don't have access to clean water. That do what you gotta do. So what do racism and profit-based interests have to do with a crisis like this? For starters, when water infrastructure was first being built in the U.S., only the rich could afford to get it. Running water utilities is still a money-making business 200 years later. You see, even though most water systems are owned by local governments, private companies are usually doing the work to treat, repair, and maintain them. In Jackson, that contractor was a company called Siemens. It turned out to be such a bad deal for the city that Jackson won a nearly $90 million settlement over Siemens botched work. But the roots of this crisis run much deeper. When Mississippi was finally forced to desegregate schools in 1970, white people left for the suburbs and took tax revenue with them. Today, you've got a city that is largely black with a quarter of people living in poverty and a crumbling water service that's been neglected for years. Here's what the city of Jackson's mayor has to say about it. This is a set of accumulated problems based on deferred maintenance that has not taken place over decades. And then major flooding finally broke the system. And this is an ongoing problem for communities of color across America in Flint, Newark, Detroit.